What's up everybody? Welcome back to another tutorial. In this tutorial, I'm going to teach you guys how to do the green bottle line effect that you just seen in the clip before this. And without further ado, I'm going to get straight into it. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to choose a beat that has a lot of beats and sounds like this. But they all like really fast. You're going to want to rotor brush out your, your artist like that for however long you like. And you're going to want to select the roto brush layer, go to the start and click B, go to the end and click N, like that. You can pull this one more here. And then you're going to go up to the layer panel and click auto trace, copy the settings, make sure it's work area, channel alpha, and apply to new layers ticked. Just click OK. Like that. And if you see any like masks that are just like outside of it, like that. Just find like whatever color they are, match them here and just delete them. So that the only mask is the one for the, for the artist. That. And the next thing you want to do is you're going to want to add 3D stroke to the thing. Set like thickness to 5. And add deep glow to it. Like that. And play around with the radius a bit. Some of that. And then you're going to want to cut it to the length of the beats, like that. And then cut it at each beat. But it's like there's a new layer every time the beat hits, like that. Like that. You're going to want to add blur motion curves to the first one. Set the center like in the middle of the artist. Get the Z distance thing, bring it one frame from the end here. Just turn the Z distance up until it goes out of frame. You can change like the center if you want to make the path look different. That. Then get thermal curves on the next layer. Keyframe Z distance, set the center to like here. Bring it one frame from the end. And go up. This one, send it like the middle of the artist, e distance, up, here, that, and finally for the last one, thing and the clip the clip goes like outside of the beat so you can just like I don't know bring it all the way if you'd like that uh, and if it's too blurry you can go to each one of the um, the effects and go to shutter duration and just turn it down to like 0.5 or something for each of them to like the blur. Right. Just look something like this. As you can see, it's kind of slow. So you can like change the change the speed of the keyframes. Like come here to the graph editor. And make it so that it goes like fast. Like that. And just do it all of them. I'm going to do them here so that it doesn't take time. Alright. Shoot some like this. And the next thing you want to do is select all of these and duplicate them. Alright. Bring them all to the bottom. And then just remove 3D stroke, remove all the effects on them pretty much. Like that. And uh, yeah, just make it, make it like that. Just cut them again. Except this time, you're going to want to add D 
deep glow to it. Make the radius smaller. It's not, it's not gonna be much of a glow, so it's gonna be a little bit. And keyframe the opacity so that like halfway through the thing comes down to zero. That and just take these keyframes, add them to all the layers. That, that, that. Something like this. This looks kind of weird because it's like trapped in a layer. But if you want, you can do pre-compose. Like recompose it and add all this stuff there after. Put this thing in a composition. Boom. Deploy it. This thing in a pre comp. And then deploy it. And just do that to each one of them for the for the non like outline thing. Something like this. You can like do the same thing with the opacity and make it fade like faster and the rest so that it doesn't look so like so that the, the white glow doesn't stay on so long and the main and the main effect is like the, the outline in the character rather than the rather than the white outline have it look like this that and the final like finishing touch is just adding like a, a shake over them, like a beat shake. Just gonna use one of mine. Right. And then just over like every beat, every time, just like the new thing, just add the shake over it. That. And should look something like this. Yeah, it's a pretty cool effect if you want to use in your Music videos, it looks really like professional. A lot of big editors in the industry have been using it. And I mean, it's overall kind of a fire effect, especially with the, especially with the shakes, it looks hype. And if you did enjoy, do be sure to leave a like and subscribe. I'm gonna see you guys in the next one.